Theresa May is preparing for a split which will cause her some heartache. No, we're not breaking news of a divorce with Philip. Rather, the Prime Minister has decided to get rid of her beloved BlackBerry in favour of an iPhone. Blackberries have been in decline for a number of years, but they were once the height of fashion. You don't know, girl. Never text me no more now. But the BlackBerry... Look, I, I was this cool, high-tech guy when I got there, right? Yeah. And I was the first president to have a BlackBerry. And so, years pass, and no one else has black hair. And, you know, I still got the clip on the, on the belt. Oh I love a Blackberry, and every time I say that, people are, like, horrified that I have a Blackberry. And I don't understand that reaction. Mm -hmm. It's my heart and soul. Like, I love it. I'll never get rid of it. You're also big investors into renewable technologies, into the green technologies of, of the future. I must get rid of my Blackberry. I think it's making the... There we are. Oh, dear. Black pretty fans, Barack Obama, Kim Kardashian and David Cameron. You don't hear those three in the same sentence very often, do you? Well, to chart the rise and fall of the phone is Will Guyatt, a technology correspondent. So, Will, when did you first come across the BlackBerry? You know what? I've been thinking about it since you called me this morning. It was probably 2001, and for some reason or another in my early career, I'd gone to Canary Wharf, and there was a guy stood out of, outside of a building, which something looked a bit tonker, to be honest, or a bit Fisher-Price. It didn't look even very, particularly very high-tech at the time but it was the idea that it gave you access to your emails and that was the thing that really excited me at the time and I think that's why Blackberry really really took off and um, we forget now you know it feels as, as ancient and as antiquated as the VHS now in 2018 but for a while this company was leading the world in smartphone technology and that was even the case after the iPhone came out so the iPhone came out in 20 uh, sorry 2007 and in 2009 the Blackberry was still leading the market but it was one of those things it was another of those cases of innovation you know this company did what it did well it didn't try anything new people moved on to the the more apps and you know better quality hardware devices like the iPhone and some of the Android devices and they got lost but people I mean it wasn't just sentimentality was it people liked the keyboard didn't they oh I was a huge fan of the keyboard funnily enough when I, I tweeted that I was coming on your show today an IT manager at a company I worked at in the early 2010s got back to me and reminded me just how many of them I broke they were a fantastic fantastic device to to use if you were the end user but they certainly were nowhere near as reliable hardware wise as an iPhone you can drop quite a few of the modern phones and pick them up again the number of times I dropped blackberries and had them destroyed was was huge but um, the fact that uh, Theresa May is moving on probably isn't because she's suggested it it's got to the stage now where the blackberry is no longer seen as a secure device and even though this time last year she was wearing it on a utility belt and it looked like batwoman essentially wearing it <laughs> wearing it around we've got to a stage now where the, the, the key people in these organisations and security organisations are actually quite confident of the security of the iPhone. I can't imagine she'll be using Candy Crush or Tinder or any of those other apps. She'll just be using it for email, but she's been able to switch to this newer, newer and more advanced platform. Yeah, I'm guessing she won't. I don't think you get many apps either if you if you're at work at number 10. Uh, but just finally, I mean, one of the problems was that Blackberry's got quite a bad reputation, didn't they? Oh, they did. And uh, if you go back to 2012, to the riots in London, BBM, Blackberry Messenger, something that was there before WhatsApp, Facebook Messenger, and all the other Messenger apps we use now, that was being used by, uh, you know, essentially it was being used by uh, people who were trying to cause trouble and violence and mischief. And uh, also as well, the company just got lost, left behind the yeah. tech. The tech, we moved on from the tech and they didn't move along quick enough with us. They didn't. Thank you very much indeed for talking to us. Will Guyatt, mourning the loss of the BlackBerry. And that brings us